Hey there, what's up? Uh, this is basically the second part of, uh, you know, this uh, blend or whatever, distort and transform text. Uh, in the part two, in the first one yesterday, I basically forgot to add the colors. Um, so I can also show you how to do it, do it more simply uh, before I was doing it like manually. So uh, yeah, uh, the main idea is to cho choose basically a dark background. And this is the gradient. It's done by, uh, you know, it's done with a gradient. And, uh, you know, there's like a few things you need to take in consideration. So uh, we got this first one. This, uh, this is not the outline version. So this is the second one then. I'm gonna make a copy. And basically you need to expand these and apply the gradient. Uh, I'm gonna add the colors of the gradient uh, down in the description so you know exactly what colors they are. Like uh, as you can see here, I added uh, these are the whoops, <laughs> I'm gonna lose the gradient. Uh, so these are the colors. Uh, I'm gonna copy paste the codes, uh, the colors in the description. So, anyways, when you got this one. You need to expand, go to object, expand appearance. So it's basically expanded. So there, here's a, an important step. Okay, you don't apply directly the gradient right now because it's gonna kill the Adobe Illustrator because you got too much stuff going on in here and uh, the program needs to process that and it might kill the, kill the software, you know. So in this case, you go to the Pathfinder and click on the Unite. Check this out. So everything is molded together. You can't separate it all right now. It's one single piece. It's not a thousand pieces. You know, everything is uh, united in one. So if you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select the Pathfinder. So you know exactly what to do, you know, because this usually it's not on the screen. And now you just apply it and select this, uh, the eyedropper tool. In my case, I got the gradients right here. Or in your case, if you basically copy paste the images, you just go here on the gradients. Of course, if you don't have the gradients, you go to the windows and select the gradients. I don't know if this thing appears uh, when you install Adobe Illustrator or not, uh, but this is the gradients and here are the colors. You just click here on the colors. Usually the default is black and white and that's it. So uh, I'm gonna click this. As you can see, this is the default. It's gonna colorize in all kinds of ways. Uh, it's gonna look really vibrant. So uh, I'm gonna go back to the default again. So basically we're at this point. Okay, so how you enter the code. Uh, basically you have the swatches. You double click on this, on the fill, or you double click here on the fill. See that? And right now we're on pure black. This is the 0000. So basically you enter here the code, what you need to enter. And let's say it's a red or something. And then you click OK. See that? So now it's got recolored. And you need to drag and pull this right here somewhere. It doesn't matter. I usually do a folder. Let's create a folder vintage. Click OK and here is the folder and just drag this here into the folder and it, it's gonna appear here so this is basically how you apply the colors from down you know from the description basically i sent you the codes uh as you have let's say these are the colors you go back to the gradients and you click on this usually it's on default you double click uh you select the colors basically you were already already on the blue you press and hold alt and drag the handle and, it, and basically it creates a new copy so here the same thing applies everywhere you press and hold alt as you move to the shape you created a new copy the same way applies here um what else so where was i oh my god i pressed this one um anyway so i gotta go back to default so basically you do the copy, you double click on the circle and you select the color and you do the same thing. But of course you need to uh, click here on the form. So I gotta do it and do it like that. Uh, let me do it real fast. Wait, oh. four, five. 
Interesting. So this is the fifth. And there you go. It's not perfect right now, but you get, get the uh, point. So what to do with this? How to edit these? First, uh, we're at this option. This is the linear gradient. We don't need that. We want the radial gradient. So, so you click on it and everything basically changes. Another crazy effect. You press the letter G. So after you press the letter G, you can see all these handles going on and your computer gonna slow down like crazy. But don't worry about it. It's way better than, you know, before being united. Press G, pull it from the center, outside, okay, good. So how to revert this? I'm just gonna press this here, a revert gradient. Boom, and there you have the effect. I also can, uh, you know, just pull this to create a more a dynamic style. I just discovered this also right now. And yeah, basically this is it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new on the channel. Hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. Uh, thank you and check out the other videos as well. Bye-bye.